I feel like every place is. should have their own like established um, community economics. Like we really the only ones who don't have it. No, it's our fault. It is our fault. Y'all want to live next to white men? I don't want to, bro. No, I'm, I'm not saying no, I'm just, you. I'm talking about <laughs> us. Like, like back in the day, right in the '90s, right? Yeah. You was doing something, right? Like, if you you got a, a job in a casino, right? This round here, right? Mm -hmm. If you got a job as a dealer in a casino, and you was making fifty five thousand, and you bought a crib in Galloway, Galloway was the move back then, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, EHT, and, 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 and you was driving a Maxima. <laughs> you got or a Max. The same right? car of Alexis. The same yeah. car. Yep. A Max, a Max, a Lex. You was doing it. You was doing your thing. And then people couldn't wait to move out to Galloway. As soon as now, there's a whole bunch of us in Galloway. And then all the white folks want to move out. You know what I mean? And it's like, to me, that when I was a kid, I was like, damn, that don't tell you something. Like, what's the point of wanting to move around these people? They, they don't, don't want to be around, around, us. Be around us, man. Like, it's like keeping up the Jones is mentality. Like, did, nah, did you watch. Um, that Dr. Claude Anderson on The Breakfast Club, mm -hmm. he's the man, yo. I've been listening for years, but he he said on it, he said he said racism a race. You got you got to treat it like that, you know. So racism what? It's oh, a race. race. Like you got to be better at racism than the. Like you, it is what it is. Like don't don't try to, you know. I mean, not not that you got to hate white people. You got to hate nobody, but you got to do for your people. For your people, right? Yeah. yeah. So you should have some of it in there where you want to give back. Mm -hmm. You got to read that book on um, post traumatic slave syndrome. Mm -hmm. That's a fire book um, by Dr. Joy. She um she really be breaking stuff down, man. It's like at the end of the day, it's like I don't hate no other race. I got friends that's you know white. One of my closest friends, Mexican. It's all this stuff is like. But at the end of the day, you do got to do for your own as well. Yeah, it ain't no we wrong with that. Representation. It ain't no wrong with that. Like, who better but us? It's like because they ain't nobody really gonna represent us. But it's still that. Anymore. It's almost like that self inflicted like. Just trauma we had, where it's like I, don't, I can't see another black dude winning. I gotta take him down, mm -hmm. and then I gotta get the approval of like a, a, a white gentleman almost. Mm -hmm. I gotta get the once they give me that stamp of approval, I know I'm good. Like, mm -hmm. but it's like, come on, you've been good. Like, it's like you don't need that. But. No, you don't need that. You don't need to live in nobody else's community. You like really people, don't. yeah. I ain't go front. Like when I moved from out of here, I moved into the school district. You know what I'm saying? But I still got businesses here. You know what I'm saying? I still had property here. Like, that's my thing. Like, like you know what's funny? Well, I got a friend of mine that's a barber, right? And he had said to me one day, he was like, yo, man, I be feeling for you, man, because um, I don't think I could work over there in Pleasantville, man, on, on Main Street, man. I'm like, what you mean? <laughs> he was like, man, it's just, it's crazy down there. And I said, I said, bro, you been in my shop, though. Like, so why do you... Why did what you think? It's like this perception, like yeah, how, they just think it's like fucking South Central down here or something. Me, um, it was funny, uh, it was actually a white woman. She was like, Man, it's, it's crazy down there, right? And in my head, I'm like, That's crazy, it's like everywhere else. Mm -hmm. It ain't really that deep. Like, <laughs> like people think you walk outside right now, you get shot. Like, that can happen anywhere. They can't, yeah, granted, it a really lot ain't of like stuff gets like blown out of proportion. And that they only show the negative, so it's, say, it overshadows all the great things that are happening, especially like here at the shop. Love, right? Yeah, yeah. Stuff that's happening here at the shop, like stuff they need to be talking about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People that are making moves, that are entrepreneurs, that are that create a success for themselves. That can be a positive role model for these kids. That's why when they be putting me on these cameras, when they be going to the walks and stuff, I be I be trying not to snap, but I be kind of snapping because it's like I'm just tired of that stuff, and it's like. It's doing nothing but poisoning the kids, man. Right. And they, they see that. They, they see what we do. And if they only see the negative stuff, they don't feel like they can do anything. They don't feel like they can make anything out of themselves. And it's just like... Or, 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 or you, you, you grow up having some kind of like... Like harsh feelings towards your own people. Because you look oh at that. Gosh, I hate that. Kids. Like, you know what would kill me when, when people be like, Oh, man, you know... You go, you go to Pleasantville, you go to Lang City, it's like a bunch of zombies walking down the street. Like, first off, all right, don't nobody want to have a bunch of bullshit going on outside their business, right? right? But at the same time, that's also your people. So that's your responsibility to try to help. You know, and that's what killed me about people from... Yeah, but it's, it's ignorant because at the end of the day, right? Like, 
like you know when 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 we had Marty came here a few weeks ago, right? Mm -hmm. And he was talking about how people from all other cities in in in, in New Jersey come and dump their mentally ill people and, and their drug addicts in Lang City. Oh yeah, yeah. right? Including white people, right? Yeah. So you come, you because we got a rescue mission here. You dump them down there and be like, yo, go get some help, mm -hmm. right? And now they running around the street, and then you pointing the finger at them like, oh, man, I don't want to go down there. It's crazy down there. You brought them you people made, down you here. Made it crazy. <laughs> yeah, you brought them here, you know? Or, 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 or the same way, like if, 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 you know, you know the government put drugs in our community, and you get mad at people that sell drugs, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And then you lock them up. Like, it's all the setup, and you won't point the finger at them. To me, that, that's, it's just offensive, and, and you know, you, you'll grow up. Like I, had, I had this conversation with some kids that I was cutting. I've been cutting since they was little. They ain't in their 20s now. But the one girl, you know, she told me, she's like, yo, like, I ain't gonna front. I was kind of bougie, and I didn't know why. Like, it's because I grew up outside of being around my own people. And I told her that, like, four years ago. I said, you little bougie, you need to be around your own people more. And then she finally admitted to me, this is four years later. She's like, you know what, CJ, you was right. Like, and it wasn't until I started dating black men and being around you know, black culture that I had to understand. Like, I got to check myself. You know what I mean? Because she was looking at her own people, like, with disdain. Like, not, down yeah. Like, yeah. Better than you. It's like, nah, yeah. You, you might be doing different things, working harder. You know, you have these privileges, but you ain't, you ain't no better than anybody. Mm -hmm. And that, that's the problem. Like, and I, I was, I was um, guilty of this when I was younger. You know, the, the whole I got to get out mentality. Um, and don't get it twisted. It's like you definitely want to get out and explore and be exposed and travel. If you want to move out of state, that's great. But people say it in such a way, it's like, yo, I, I'm trying to get out of here. Like, it's like, it's the pits. But it's like, yo, you here. So ultimately, you what still talking about yourself, man. Yeah. So it's like, what have you done? Like, nah, it's garbage out here. It's like, all right, what have you done to make it not garbage? Like, what have you done mm -hmm. to add value to the community? But it's like, everybody want to talk down on it and mm -hmm. talk this about it. And that'd be pissing me off when people talk about Pleasantville and Atlantic City that way. Facts. Because I know too many people that's doing dope things that come out of these communities, Facts. man. Mm -hmm. Including me. It's like, yeah. I know people that really get into it, but then we get looked down. And um, it's just crazy, man. It's crazy. And that's why I try to do as much as I can. Uh -huh. you do, yo, you do an excellent job, my boy. I appreciate it. Get off his dick, nigga. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> get off camera, say it. Don't shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. I'm niggas. fucking with you, man. Yeah, <laughs> y'all be getting so emotional. I be joking. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> no, real that's the problem. You gotta show love, bro. Like, I be, I be showing love. You showing too much love, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's the truth, though. Nah, real rap, you gotta show love, show support. Like everybody will see him doing it, won't mm -hmm. like the, like the picture, won't say nothing. Like, mm -hmm. but you'll be in in the background. Yo, y'all see what Nate doing? Nigga, did you say something to Nate? Like sometimes mm -hmm. he need that. Like mm -hmm. not only that, it's just like if you got a connection, bro, plug me plug in. Plug the like, word. Yeah, that's true. I ain't trying to take from you. Mm -hmm. And that, that's another problem, but that's a whole nother conversation. Nah, it's the conversation now. <laughs> we, 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 we just talking. That's the truth, though, man. It's like I have talked with different people, man, that are influential around here, and it's just like I don't get how people aren't supporting them the way that they need to be. It's like, like who? Who you think? Somebody I really think, like uh, Frank Turner. Yeah. What Frank doing? Frank does a lot, man. He's trying to do a lot more, like especially when he's home, not balling overseas. Obviously, mm -hmm. he has his brand and everything like that. But it's like. Even him having his challenges, he, I remember he was telling me a story um, about just trying to get into his own high school gym to work out. My guy, it's like, why doesn't he have Frank it? Frank can't get in the gym? He said it's difficult. Like, they don't be trying to let him in. And it's, it's like, state his name on the wall, fam. Like, bro, nah, at, <laughs> game, like, at game, it ain't like that. Game, if you I'm, had to just, just say game, you'd right like, now. Mm -hmm. And those two places, like Pleasant Lance, it's difficult, man. It's like even with me trying to get into the schools at Pleasant Lance, like we got to go through the ringer, man. Yeah. And I get it, the state's there, things like that, but you know me. You, I grew up here. Mm -hmm. I went here. You, you know my track record. I'm solid. Like, no, that's, that's that politics, man. And it's like it yeah. shouldn't take all of that to just get me in the door to talk to 20 kids. You know that's what I'm saying? It shouldn't take all of that. Mm -hmm. And it's like that's really what it be taking. I'm just like, man, it's crazy. And it's like you've seen the impact that we have when we're there. Why not bring us in? Why bring somebody else from outside of this community? Pay them money mm -hmm. so they can get the money, not effective with the students, and then leave and never even go down Main Street, but just jump on the expressway and go back home. Mm -hmm. That's what blows my mind. You got people coming in that that's never seen where these kids live, don't really know about their life. 
but judge them. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's bugged out, man. It, it's, it's, it's bugged out. Facts. And they do that, and they just get up and leave, and it's just like, you mm -hmm. wonder why the kids aren't, aren't paying attention. You wonder why the, the test scores are low. You got people in there that they just can't relate to. Mm -hmm. And they're not trying to relate to them either. They're just trying to get their check, dip out. And then the kids ultimately are the ones losing because then it's time for them to go to school. They don't have the grade. They don't know how to do the process. They don't understand clearing house. They don't understand all these different things and you pretty much screwed them over, so. I should run for mayor. Yeah, you should. Because mm -hmm. you know we're going to get a Spanish mayor next. You think so? <laughs> Festival's all Spanish. Pleasantville is, uh, you know what's crazy? Ain't nothing wrong with it. Like, I, no, no, I no, think no. it's good. It's cool, but when you look at the statistics, it really is all Spanish at the high school. For mm. real. Like, I was looking up this, like, a couple months ago, just seeing, you know, obviously, at one point, you know, black people, we were taking over that whole thing. It's really, like, all Spanish kids. And, like, 15, Bro, we got a like, soccer field down the street. We don't play soccer. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. We don't play soccer. Yeah, this. I mean, it's oh, just, yeah, we should. We should start. Yeah, and you know, and you know and that's another mm. thing. Yeah, I wish I would learned about soccer, man. Everybody, all our kids to play basketball and freaking football. That's football another thing. Football too. is killing. It's proven. It's I wouldn't let my kid play some football I, if yeah, I had a little kid. kid play like, football, yeah. And but another soccer thing. and tennis is like when I started playing in high school. It's man easy to be good at them sports, bro. Mm. Not only that, it's like we, we need we should have a debate team teaching these kids how to debate because that translates to real life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It should be all different types of things. Like honestly, when I have kids, you know, and when the guy blessing me to reproduce, I'm not gonna force them to play sports. I'm gonna put them in a certain thing, see what they, see like. they like. Don't have no kids, the day, man. My kid might be an artist. My kid might be all these <laughs> different things, and it's like parents are forcing their kids into sports. Because it's all we knew. It's like, I grew up playing basketball. That don't mean I got to force my son and try to live vicariously through him to play ball. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, he might not, that might not be his swag. He might be dope at something else, though, that I just, I'm not good at. And it's like, you got to support that. And you got to get them around the right people and resources mm -hmm. that they can flourish in that. But I've seen it too many times, man, when I was coaching at Pleasantville, like, parents trying to force their kids to play ball and force them to do this. And they hate it. And they start resenting the parents, like, yo, okay, I'm just trying to go to school so I can get the heck out of here yeah. to get away from them because they drive me crazy. And that's that's a lot of kids' reality, man. It's like, yo, there's so much more out here than sports. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. You should definitely do some type of sports because it's dope. You'll have fun, you know, and if you're really good at it, then we can talk about it. That can be a conversation and we can work on investing <laughs> in that.